Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and this is the third video in a three-part series on Excel filters. In the last video, I shared my favorite keyboard shortcuts for the filter drop-down menus, and we saw how these shortcuts can save us a ton of time when applying filters. In this video, I'm going to explain how to apply filters to multiple columns. We are going to learn the logic that Excel uses and how to filter multiple columns with OR logic. All right, so for this video, we're gonna use this very simple data set here, and we're first gonna learn about the AND logic that Excel uses when we're applying filters to multiple columns. So we're first just gonna focus on the region column here and the color column. And if I click the filter dropdown for region, we can see in the list box down here that we have a list of all the unique values from the cells in this particular column. So this column contains the values east, north, south, and west. And of course we could see that right here in the column as well. And then for the color column, this column contains uh, blue, green, orange, and red. And it's important to know that this list here is a list of all the unique values for the visible rows only. And I'll explain uh, exactly what that means. So I'm first gonna apply a filter for the region column here, and I'm just gonna click east, and we'll apply this for east, so region equals east here. And then in the color column, if I click the filter dropdown now, we'll see that in the list box, we only have a green and red. So again, these are is a list of all the unique values for the visible rows only. And of course, if we close the filter dropdown, we can see we only have green and red in this particular column because we've applied a filter for east in this column. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply a filter to this column as well. I'll just apply a filter for red only. And now we have a filter for region equals east and color equals red. And if I go back and click the filter dropdown for the region column now, we can see in the list box down here that we have east listed because we have this filter applied for east. And we also have south listed here with the checkbox cleared. And that lets us know that there are options or there are rows that contain south that also meet the filter criteria for the other columns. So if we were to click this uh, checkbox here and click OK, we can see that we have now just uh, the color equals red, and there is one row here where region equals south and color equals red. So that's just good to know that we can see these other options, these potential other uh, values that could be included in our filter criteria by clicking this drop down menu here and looking at the list box. So I'm just gonna leave this filtered for east is now and explained a little bit more about that and logic. So when I read out the filter criteria for this data set, I said that the region equals east and the color equals red. And uh, we can basically use some plain English there to read out our filter criteria. And we also notice that I use the word and in that sentence. And that's because Excel uses this and logic which means all of those conditions must be met for the row to be visible. So the region must equal east in column D and the color must equal red in column E for this row to be visible. It's not or logic, which would be either the region equals east or the color equals red. It's and logic, which means both of those conditions need to be met for the row to be visible. So that's just good to know how this works. And it continues to work that way as you apply filters to more columns as well. So if we wanted to apply a filter to the quantity column here, maybe we'll do a number filter and say greater than 80 and hit OK. Now we have our filter criteria where region equals, F, uh, region equals east and color equals red and quantity is greater than 80. So again, we're using that and logic there all of those criteria must be met for the row to be visible. But oftentimes we want to filter using OR logic. And so I have another sheet here uh, with the same data set, but in this case here, we want to apply a filter where region equals east or the quantity is greater than 80. So if either of those conditions are met, we want to display the row down here. So unfortunately, there's no way to directly do this with the filter dropdown menus in Excel, but we can add a helper column that contains a formula to make this possible. So we're gonna do that using the OR function, and I'm gonna explain some of the logic here uh, behind that as well. So I'm gonna add, the first thing I'm gonna do here is add a new column to my uh, data set. I'm gonna just call this filter and hit enter. And we're going to use a formula here in this column uh, to apply the filter criteria or to evaluate that filter criteria. So before I create the entire formula, I'm gonna start with the basics and show just some logical statements 
here in Excel. So I'm going to type the equal sign to start our formula here. And I'm going to select cell uh, D5 that contains my region value. And I'm going to say equals. So I'm going to type the equal sign here. And then I'm going to select cell G1. And G1 is going to hold my filter criteria here. So my filter criteria for the east region. I'm going to hit F4 on the keyboard to anchor that down. And now when I hit enter there, uh, this is going to return a false. So again, this uh, formula here is just saying D5 equals G1. And that is false because these two values do not equal each other. East and west do not equal each other. So if I copy this down, I'll just double click the fill handle to copy that formula down. You can see down here we do have some true values. And again, this is just uh, the formula is just comparing east in cell D8 with G1 right here. And of course, those two match. So Excel is going to return a true for this formula right here. So now I could apply a filter for this column here uh, for the true value to get all of the rows that contain east. So I'm going to go ahead and do that just to explain this. You'll also notice when I added that column there that I don't have a filter drop down menu icon right here. And this is because I'm not using an Excel table. So it doesn't automatically add those filter drop down icons right there if you're not using Excel tables. So to get the filter drop down icon to appear, we first need to turn the filters off. Again, go to the data tab on the ribbon, click the filter button. That'll turn all the filters off. And then I'll click the filter button again to turn them all on and include this new column. So now if I was to filter this column for true, just filter it for true, that will show all of the rows where the region equals east. Now, of course, we could just filter column D for that uh, region equals east and get the same results. So that's not very useful. But I just want to step through and show how this logic is going to apply by applying a filter to this column that contains a formula. So I'm going to clear this uh, filter and we're going to go ahead and continue to uh, build out our formula. So I'm just going to delete this formula for now. And we're going to use the OR function uh, to create our filter criteria with a formula. So I'm going to type the equal sign again and the word OR. I'll just tab into that. And the OR function allows us to give it logical statements. You can see the arguments here are just logical statements that will either return a true or false. And if any of those logical statements return a true, then the OR function is going to return a true value for us. So now we're just going to uh, feed this some logical statements. So we'll create that same logical statement that we just had, which is D5, the region here. And I'm going to type equals, and that's going to equal our filter criteria in G1. Again, I'll hit F4 to anchor that down. And I'm going to type a comma here, and we're going to add our second logical statement. And in this case, we want the quantity to be greater than 80. So I'll uh, click cell F5 here for our quantity column. And then I'm going to type the greater sign symbol right there. And then we'll select cell G2 for our quantity criteria. And again, I'll hit F4 on the keyboard to anchor that down. And then I'll just close the parentheses in our formula here. This is all we need. This is our filter criteria and I'll hit enter. So that returns a false there because neither of the conditions are met. Both uh, region does not equal east and the quantity is not greater than 80. So we're going to get a false there because this formula is returning two falses. It returns false here and it returns a false there. So two falses gives us a false. But if I copy this down, just double click the fill handle, we'll see that we do get some true values here. So here we're returning a true. Now the, of course, the region here does not equal east, but the quantity is greater than 80. So we get a true. That's what that or function does is it's just if any of these return a true, any of our logical statements return a true, then or is going to return a true. So we can look at the rest of these again here region does equal east and the quantity is greater than 80 so we're going to get a true there here region equals east uh, here both conditions are met east and greater than 80 uh, here is uh, just greater than 80 and this one is east and greater than 80 so we get a true there so now we can apply a filter to this column here for true and we'll get all of the uh, rows that contain either of those filter criteria. So now we have a filter for region equals east or the quantity is greater than 80. 
And the nice part about this is this becomes more of a dynamic filter in the sense that we can change these values in our criteria here. So if I want to change this to 90, I'll go ahead and change this value to 90 and hit enter. And we could see that our formulas update. So now we have a false here because this does not meet any of our filter criteria and uh, same with this row here it does not meet our filter criteria so now we have two falses and we can go reapply the filters and we can do that by either clicking the filter drop down menu and we already have true here so we can hit ok and that will again apply the filter or we can use the uh, reapply filter button and that's located on the data tab of the ribbon right here and there's a reapply filter button right here keyboard shortcut is control alt l so clicking that reapply filter button will reapply the filters for us and now we're only filtering for true in our filter column and we're seeing the rows that meet our uh, filter criteria of region equals east or the quantity is greater than 90. And this technique is not just limited to two columns. So I have this example here with the same data set, but I'm now using an Excel table, and I wanna apply filters using OR logic uh, with these three criteria. So region equals east, color equals red, and quantity is greater than 90. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna add my filter column right here, and I'll hit enter. And you notice when I hit enter, the table's automatically extended uh, along with the filtered range. So we don't have to disable and enable filters. That's already done for us. And we can just add our formula here in the first row. So I'm gonna type equals. We're gonna use the or function again. I'm gonna tab into that. And we're just gonna add our logical statements. We can add as many as we'd like. So I'm gonna select um, the west cell and type equals. And that's gonna equal G1, hit F4 comma for our second logical statement color is going to equal our color criteria hit f4 there comma and then our third logical statement will be quantity and type the greater sign symbol and then select cell g3 f4 to anchor that i'll close the parentheses and hit enter and of course with excel tables our formulas are automatically copying down which is just awesome saves us a lot of time so now we have the same formula here in each row of the table and the OR function works the same way. So here it returns a false because none of these uh, values match any of the conditions. They all return a false. So the OR function is going to return a false. Here we see a true because at least one of the uh, logical statements returns a true. In this case, the color equals red, which we have here. So these match and this returns a true, even though this is not greater than 90 and this is not east. So now we can apply our filter here for trues and we will get a filter across multiple columns using this or logic where any of these uh, conditions are met so this or function is a great and very simple way to create this dynamic filter this table with dynamic filters that you can go change and apply using or logic so I now want to share a tip of how to determine what the filter criteria is when you're filtering multiple columns. So as we learned in one of the previous videos, we spend a lot of time scrolling horizontally to try and find this little icon here that lets us know a filter is applied to this column. And then we have to click the filter drop down menu to try and determine what that filter criteria is. So one little tip for this is you can just hover the mouse over the filter drop down button and you'll see this uh, screen green tip appear right here that shows the filter criteria. So you can see it says customer name equals company A, company F, or company G. And you can do that with any column that has a filter applied. So my region column here equals north. If I scroll all the way over to the right, we can also see that uh, the quantity uh, it's greater than 50. So this can save us quite a bit of time because otherwise with these number filters especially, we'd have to navigate into the custom auto filter menu and open the window up here and then we could see quantity is greater than 50. So just hovering this button can save us a bit of time. Now FilterMate also has a feature that makes this process much faster and easier. So once you install the FilterMate add-in, the Excel Campus tab will appear right here in the ribbon and then we can click the FilterMate button to open the filter mate window and there's a list of all the columns here in the table or range and we'll see in this column here we have a filtered column that lets us know if a filter is applied to this specific column 
So we can see that there's a true here, which means that the customer name field or column has a filter applied to it. And if we select this item, we can also see the filter criteria right down here in this box. So this shows us the filter criteria. If I click on region, I can see the filter criteria here as well. And then same with quantity, we can see the criteria is greater than 50. Now I can also uh, click this button right here, this filtered button, and that will filter down my list and only show me the columns that have filters applied to them. So this makes this really fast and easy to see that we have uh, three columns with filters applied and I can select each of these to see the filter criteria for that specific column. So it's a very fast way when you're working with large data sets to figure out which columns have filters applied and also see that filter criteria criteria right here in one place. So I'm excited to announce that the FilterMate add-in is now available. Throughout this video series, I've shown some of the features of FilterMate that will save you a lot of time when working with filters in Excel. I've been working with Excel all day, every day for over 12 years, and I designed this add-in to really help improve our productivity with some of the most time-consuming and repetitive tasks that we do with filters. I'm also excited to announce a new online course on filters. The course is called Filters 101, and it will help you get the most out of the filter features in Excel. I have developed this course to include all of the filtering techniques I have learned and used in my career to help me prepare and analyze data. The course consists of short, bite-sized videos using my simple step-by-step -step learning system. You can watch the videos anytime you want on any device from the comfort of your own home or office. Please click the link below this video to learn more about FilterMate and the Filters 101 course. I look forward to helping you learn these important data analysis skills and saving you time with your everyday filtering tasks. You can leave a comment below with any questions about this video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.